Hey Pisces, what's up? Welcome to my channel. My name is Katie and today I'm wearing two watches. Don't, just don't ask, please. <laughs> How are you? How are you doing? I hope you're all doing fantastic. <clears throat> today I'm going to be doing a whole bunch of readings. So I want to find out as much as possible for you in regards to love, finances, health, who is paying a little bit too much attention to you. You know, you guys know at this point, if you are subscribers, the menu that I do on the weekends when I get a chance. So that is what we're gonna be doing. <clears throat> so yes, let's begin with a timeless reading. Timeless, general, whenever this video finds you, even if it has been posted a while back, you're probably guided here for a reason. So let's, let's see. It's 1.15 a.m. in Panama. I'm taking the jumping cards upright. The ones that fall on the table, not the ones that fly away because I'm just not gonna. <clears throat> this is for Pisces. Probably the most accurate, best messages. here Pisces it's like a newness in the air a freshness something that you can't maybe put your finger on exactly but that feels right that feels refreshed for some of you it's kind of like a new energy within what you have already been doing for quite some time or a new energy in, in an area that is not necessarily new that's what I'm feeling it's like Maybe a relationship that has been there for a while, but it just gets refreshed. Same goes for maybe a job, maybe an intention, maybe a family connection. Whatever it is, it's not new, but it feels new for some reason. <laughs> That's what I'm getting. Um, some of you may be connecting with an Aquarius or a Hermit. And as I say that, the lights flickered, which... It's never happened in this new apartment, so interesting. Oh wow, Pisces. The last three readings, the thumbnail, check it out, check, check the channel. The last three readings, the thumbnail is the sun card. <laughs> and here we go again, the sun card. Happiest card in the deck, good luck, joy, good health, wealth, and happiness. Some of you have gotten a little bit defensive about life for some reason. Maybe there was an outcome, something happened in a way that was divinely led, but that maybe you didn't love. <laughs> maybe you didn't like it as much. Maybe the way that something presented itself in your life was like, ugh, universe, really? But I don't know, it's like, even if you may have become a little bit defensive, a little bit, almost like bitter, some of you may have gotten a little bit of an attitude. <laughs> uh, still, I feel like there is something new here that is being, I don't know, a new energy that is being brought here. And maybe you're not aware that that's what you're receiving. So let's say that some of you, in your job, you've been doing the same thing for a long time, you're in the same position in your job, but all of a sudden, you change departments or something, and then everything feels new. Some of you change social media platforms. Some of you change classrooms in school if you're studying. It's like an environmental change and you may not be aware of how this is going to propel you forward. So you may be kind of like, eh, you know, it happened this way, the universe gave me this, 
yes, it is a blessing, but whatever. With the Four of Cups, it's kind of like you being offered something, but not seeing kind of like its real value at the time. And what I'm getting is that there is something about this new environment that is going to propel you forward. About this new refreshed energy. For some of you, it's like you're going to be... Because of an environmental change, changing your energy, your frequency. Many of you perhaps were very stressed in the past for whatever reason. You were very stressed. You were maybe very drained. Maybe annoyed. Reclusive. Maybe, you know, if this has to do with work, maybe there was someone at work that really drained your energy. Or maybe... There was something about your romantic relationship that was really kind of stumbling and it made you feel a certain way. That way you felt and what generated that feeling had more, an ef more of an effect and an impact in you and in your life than you realize. So Spirit is telling, is telling me here, it's kind of make me, making me understand that a very small change will make a big difference. And this is not a change that you need to aim for. This is not a change that you have to figure out. This is a change that already happened, but you're not aware of. <laughs> it's like almost like a clue. It feels kind of like a, like a, not even ansa, like, like a, whatever. Never mind. <laughs> it's just the word escapes me. A riddle of some sorts. You already you already got that thing that will change everything. Whether it is information, whether it is a shift in energy, whether it is a new connection, whatever it may be. You already have it. It's already manifested, but you may not see it yet. And this is going to be your wish fulfillment. Something here changes. Maybe it's about the energy, the way you show up. Some of you may be dealing with a Leo. Oh my goodness, look at this. Ten of Cups, Pisces. What's going on? What is going on? Celebration, happiness, fulfillment, joy. Ah, oh, you deserve this, Pisces. Look at that. Can't even. Look at that, Pisces. The Star, the Ten of Cups, and the Ace of Cups. <laughs> so there are emotional new beginnings. Things that make you feel good, make you feel happy. And that creates this ripple effect. And it, and it kind of like it spreads everywhere. And that joy brings more joy. And that movement forward brings more movement forward. And that renewed energy brings in more of that too. I don't know if you're aware of this, but you're already kind of like in a different... <laughs> you, know, <laughs> you, you know what I'm saying? Do you remember Finding Nemo? Do you remember that the turtles had these like currents, right? And they would be just kind of floating around, but if they wanted to get... It, it was kind of like a highway <laughs> in in the ocean or whatever and they would just get into the current and they would be propelled forward like super quickly that's what i'm getting here it's like you may not even realize that this happened but you're already in that super high speed highway <laughs> towards progress and movement forward i don't know it's like a uh, almost like a quantum leap Emotional fulfillment, dreams come true, answered prayers. I mean, does it even get any better than this? Nine of Wands. You just have to keep going, Pisces. Some of you may have almost given up on the idea that these highways exist, that progress is possible, that results are possible. Some of you guys may be recently... Yeah, kind of like defensive. I see this her hermit card and 
I don't know what is it about it, his posture or what. It's like I feel he's kind of defensive. Angry almost. It's not the usual peaceful hermit. It's kind of more of a, like, don't mess with me, hermit. Like, leave me alone, hermit. Just keep going, Pisces. Some of you may feel inclined to quit or to take it slower. And that's okay. Follow that instinct. But you're going to realize that by taking it slower, you're actually going to be moving forward faster somehow. It will make no logical sense, but energetically, I feel like you are relaxed. And by being relaxed, it's like people really perceive your energy differently. Maybe clients, maybe subscribers, followers, maybe uh, bosses, whatever. Associates, the public, in any way. It's like any kind of job. Any kind of relationship as well, romantic, anything. It's like you are more relaxed, Pisces, and that shows. 1111 in the timer. And as it shows, it also magnetizes in more of the same. So it snowballs effortlessly. It's like peace brings more peace. <laughs> yeah. Page of Pentacles. And this is going to definitely affect your finances for the better, Pisces. Okay, so that is going to be... It's like you're not even aware of it. Honestly, I feel like you're not aware of it, Pisces. Well, maybe now you are, but it's initially... It's like you didn't you didn't realize that that was, was happening. It's like almost that feeling of letting it go and once you really let it go it comes <laughs> when you actually don't want it anymore you don't give a shit that's when it arrives right that's that's what i'm getting but some of you seem to be walking away defeated some of you feel bitter sad disappointed and you're walking away or just retreating somehow in dissatisfaction. But maybe because of whatever, you go into slow down mode or you just don't care anymore so you relax. It's like you release the need of an outcome. Maybe because you feel sad. Maybe because you feel bitter. Maybe because you give up. But that giving up almost gives up the burden that was shifting your energy, making it chaotic, making it unappealing in so many ways. So it's like by releasing that stress, by releasing that need, even if it's in a sad way, <laughs> by releasing it, that's, that's when the magic happens here. Do you remember that I just said, don't quit? <laughs> it's almost as if, like, if you quit, quote unquote quit, not like literally quit, but if you just kind of like, oh, you know, whatever, I don't care about it anymore. If you get to that point, I feel like it's helpful in this situation. So if it really, <laughs> really, really, really is born out of you, like that feeling of just like, you know what, fuck it, like, I don't, whatever, I'm just gonna go through the motions or I'm just gonna, whatever. In this particular case, that could be good. Take it if it resonates. Ten of Wands. Yeah, because it's like, the burden was too much, or is too much, Pisces. And it's like, almost consuming you alive, almost taking over your life somehow. So 
there was some kind of disappointment, failure, frustration here. That is maybe the only way that spirit could get you to let go. And when you let go, everything comes rushing in. All things good. Isn't it interesting how life works like that? They always say that when you're ready to be alone forever, that's when you get the one. <laughs> I know that sounds very strange, um, but I've heard that many times. And it kind of happened to me, honestly. I reached a point in which I was like, you know what? I'm the hermit. I'm so happy hermiting. <laughs> like, I don't know if I would give up my hermiting for anybody. And I came to a point in which I was like, you know what? I actually choose... Literally, like I really was like, I choose to be single, like it's good, like I'm not gonna, like I don't see the value in it, like I don't, I'm single. And ta -da. who I consider to be a very beautiful relationship, if not the most beautiful relationship I've ever had, arrives immediately. <laughs> but it's not like you can fake it. It's like you have to get there internally, you know what I mean? And this is the same, it's like maybe you give up the idea of being rich and all of a sudden when you really give it up and you really just find happiness elsewhere all of a sudden it arrives. Some of you, for example, have been playing the lottery for years and years and years. Always, maybe with an energy of, this would solve all my problems, you know, and I don't know, it's like someone here says, you know what, whatever, like, I'm not even going to play anymore. Like, I don't even care what the, the last ticket does, like, I'm not even going to check. And all of a sudden, it's like, that ticket you already bought becomes the, <laughs> the winner. But it's because of the energy somehow. It's like you just let go. So Pisces, super interesting. I'm loving this reading. I mean, could you, look at this. Ace of Cups, Ten of Cups, the Star and the Sun. I mean, and the Eight of Wands. It's that highway in Finding Nemo. <laughs> it is. Oh my goodness. I love you guys so much. I hope you know that. Thank you so much for joining me today for clicking on this video, for spending some time with me here, and yeah, don't be afraid to let go. In this case, Pisces, you don't need to, you don't need to hang on for dear life. It's like, try to just find happiness where you're at. Easier said than done, but possible, okay? Even if you feel kind of like settling sometimes. If this really resonates, you know exactly what I'm saying. If it doesn't, you're like, Katie, what the fuck are you saying? <laughs> like you're contradicting yourself. And yeah, I kind of am, because I'm not the one to say these things normally, but in this particular case, it really just, that's what's showing up. All right, Pisces, I love you so much. I hope you know that. In the description box below, I will leave all the links and the relevant information for all the beautiful things that I create for you guys regularly, including the manifestation sessions. If you would like to join me for yours, let me know. And I'll see you in the next reading. Have a beautiful weekend.